So riddle me this. We're in a Tesla, and we're going up a mountain, and it's draining the battery real quick, and when we get to the top of the mountain, we only have 19 miles left. Ooh. And it's 35 miles back down the mountain. How do we make it back down? Oh, it's already negative yeah, 360. Yeah, so we're at negative 360 right now. What? So we are projected to have infinite range. Oh gosh, so <laughs> if we keep driving downhill, we'll never have to charge again. Literally. Haleakala Mountain at the at the top is 10,000 feet, and it's the fastest 10,000 feet in the world, meaning like the fastest you can possibly drive up uh, 10,000 feet in anywhere in the whole world. So uh, going down, it's really steep and, and you get really good range. If we have like two miles left and we're at the top of the mountain, we're fine because we can get all the way home and we get home with 38 miles. So it's hilarious that like, we only have to worry about getting there and there's no charger at the top of the mountain, but we can just coast down. So we'll see what we can get. I mean, some of you might think this is normal because you live in hilled areas, but we're coming from Rhode Island where it's all flat. So it's, yeah. this is really new to us. The purposes of this video, 200 is really good. If you look at this number, watt hours per mile, 200 is very good. Um, and uh, uh, 250, 300, eh, you know, it's okay. But yeah, once you get higher than 400, it's like, you know, it's like double what it says right here for 121 miles. We'd only get 60 if it's- Will we make it to Haleakala? We really don't know. In Under our the... Tesla Model 3 standard slash short range. <laughs> standard range, yeah, so- I call it What not to do to your Tesla? It's glass. Ay ay ay. but it's worth it. This is Olana, and I'm Isaac. We're, we're moving, moving to, to Hawaii. Hawaii! But first, we're driving from New York City to Seattle with Smiley, our nine-year-old rescue pity, in our Tesla Model 3, equipped for camping. And we are funding this trip with our Etsy store. Meaning we are bringing around 50,000 earrings and 500 envelopes and our label printer on this 11-day cross-country road trip. Subscribe to the Travel Bug Bite today! I'm cold. Really? Yes, Hawaii is freezing. Do you know where we are? Maui. Do you know where we're about to be? Haleakala? Yeah, it's apparently like <laughs> 50 degrees-ish there. Which we're not used to anymore. Yeah, so it'll be fun. See you there. There we go, we have a signal now. Haleakala Crater. It's more than 15 miles away, isn't it? That's crazy. Oh, it's 15 miles as the crow flies, so we'll see what it actually says. Okay, it lost the signal again. So I've had the, we've had the Tesla here for uh, about a week. I work a little ways up Haleakala Mountain and uh, just about, I don't know, 2,000 feet up. And I've noticed that I get really, really bad range on my way to work and really, really good range on my way back. And I'm talking about on the way up, it takes double the rated miles. So if I leave with, you know, 100 miles and it's a 14 mile drive, it takes 28. Um, so, but then on the way back, I actually charge on the way back because of the regenerative braking. I get like an extra, like two or three miles just by getting home in 14 miles. So I get minus uh, range. So it's pretty cool. And I'm wondering how, how well we can do on our way back down Haleakala Mountain. It'll be really fun to see. I did a little bit of research and it seems like someone has done this before and uh, but it was in a Model S in like 2017 like a long time ago before you know like the Model 3 was even out so it's probably been optimized a little bit the regenerative braking and they got 36 miles like gained on their car from the top of Haleakala down to uh, Kahului which is about a, an elevation loss of 10,000 feet. Haleakala Mountain at the at the top is 10,000 feet and it's the fastest 10,000 feet in the world, meaning like the fastest you can possibly drive up uh, 10,000 feet in anywhere in the whole world. So uh, going down, it's really steep and, and you get really good range. So right now, if you look, I'm getting, uh, we're getting about 400 watt hours per mile just because I'm going uphill. That's not good. It's not even steep yet. Yeah, 200 is considered good. We're a little worried because it's a 30 mile drive and we have 123 miles. Um, if we go over to energy and we do like five miles since we've only been driving a mile, uh, it says we'll make 84 miles uh, based on what I've been doing, but that's not taking into account that we're on hills yet. We'll have to check that as we go. 
And uh, the good thing is, though, if we see that we can't make it, we just turn around and we charge our car on the way yeah. down the hill. And I'm wondering, could you charge your car, like, if you had a device that could lift it and put it up a hill, could you keep, like, driving down the hill until you, like, charge your car? Yes. If you had someone <laughs> to tow you up, you could literally charge your car. If someone towed your car up and you drove down over and over, you could charge the entire car. Haleakala Mountain, 36 miles, so about seven times. So it would take <laughs> so, about a day for you like to charge your car. Day, but it would be like, yeah, that would be kind of funny. We're um, not going to do that. You know, but... the, the, the funny thing <laughs> to note is that like, if we have like two miles left and we're at the top of the mountain, we're fine. Because we can get all the way home and we get home with 38 miles. So it's hilarious that like we only have to worry about getting there and there's no charger at the top of the mountain, but we can just coast down. So we'll see what we can get. I mean, some of you might think this is normal because you live in hilled areas, but we're coming from Rhode Island where it's all flat. So yeah. this is really new to us. Yep. So uh, for the purposes of this video, 200 is really good. If you look at this number, watt hours per mile, 200 is very good. Um, and uh, uh, 250, 300, eh, you know, it's okay. But yeah, once you get higher than 400, it's like, you know, it's like double what it says right here for 121 miles, we'd only get 60 if it's We have bad experiences and we'll link the video to that below of how we ran out because we were being stupid. So yeah, that was a fun time, but that won't happen today because we can charge by rolling down a hill. Yep, I've never seen higher than 500 on this car, so we'll see. <laughs> Let's we'll just wait and we'll, we'll yeah. get there. I will show you all the twists and turns. Well, not all of them, but Hi, some of them. Peter. Are you going to work this time? Yay! <gasps> Yay! So Are we there it says yet? an hour and 12 minutes. Ooh, stay below 45 miles an hour to reach your destination. Ooh! Yeah, that's already scary. We'll make it, and we are going to go that slow because we're on Maui, yeah. and you don't go faster than that on most roads. Will we make it to Haleakala? I really don't know. In Maybe. our Tesla Model 3 standard slash short range. <laughs> standard range, yeah. So I call it short. 118 miles, it says, and we're only going 31 miles. <laughs> so theoretically, it should be okay, but we're gaining 10,000 feet. We'll see. Yeah, but as, like we mentioned in a different video about Teslas, when you go downhill, you gain charge. So we, we can make it, as long as we make it up there and have like even zero, we're fine. Yeah, zero would be really funny almost. It would be really funny. <laughs> but it's not good for your battery to go down to zero. <laughs> we'll see you there and tell you if we made it. Hopefully. It's windy. That is quite a windy road. This is going to be fun. Fun? Well, that's the only way to get up a mountain. <sighs> just, and again, it's the quickest elevation gain in the world. So it's just all up. That's crazy. Oh, how quickly is it going up? Doop, 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 another turn. Whee! We just did a form drawing in school that looks just like this. There it is. Hello, cow. <gasps> Another cow. Oh, hello, cool. Moo. Right by the side of the road. Oh, no. 5.30. 530, so less than two kilowatt hours per mile. That's crazy. And if we hit one of these cows, it would probably be 600. <laughs> Thank you. 
how many Teslas have uh, gone up this? Well, apparently a lot. In 2017, there was a, a Tesla motorcade. Although, yeah, motor? Yeah, there are motors in the Tesla. No engine, but motors. And uh, that was before this Model 3 was out, so. This is all Model S's. Apparently a Roadster came. But, I mean, people didn't come here just for it, did they? I have no idea. That would be crazy to bring your car all the way over here just for that. Seventeen hundred meters. It's like five thousand feet. We're kind of in the clouds now. So we're only halfway up. Tesla's driving itself up the mountain. <laughs> Do you enjoy being a douchebag? <laughs> That's a high number. 583 watt hours per mile, 25 miles, 15 kilowatt hours. That's crazy. But yeah, we'll film on the way down how we get a bunch of free miles. It's gonna be like negative 500. Whoa, that's pretty. Isaac, what's the worst accident that could possibly happen here? Not being able to see and crashing into a cow while driving through a cloud. Yes, that would be terrible. Sorry, Progressive Insurance, do you cover crashing into cows while driving through a cloud? Oh yes, that's our Haleakala premium. <laughs> I'm ah. sure it's happened here. That's, that's pretty. We're almost at 600 and our mileage is not good. Plummeting. What's our energy say? We haven't been checking Hey, there's this. a car behind you going okay. way faster than you. Yeah, I don't care. We haven't been checking this. Look projected 15 more miles oh gosh and we have what not to do to your tesla it's glass ay 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 but it's worth it so we have 45 miles left we're projected to be able to only do 18 and we have to drive uh eight more miles so 18, 8, sounds good. We'll be okay. But we're gonna have literally like nine miles when oof, when we get to the top. And uh, then we're gonna charge on the way down. Whoopsie. And we have some more turns yep. to go. And look at that. See how the autopilot fares around some of these crazy turns. I'm gonna obviously keep my hands nearby in case I need to. Yeah, it's telling me, yep, take over immediately. It's like, this is not okay. Oh, reduced front camera visibility. Why? From the light, the I think. The glare from the sun, yeah. So let's try again. That's, there's no lines. Yeah, but the thingies are enough. At least keep your hands around it, it's really... So, a curve coming up, let's see. So is light, light's gonna hit you at the right time when you're <laughs> turning, so it's gonna be light. No! Okay, now let's stop. So far, so good. Yes, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not kidding.
17 to go? Or mm, minutes? Not five, five miles to go. And it says we will make 14. We got this. Yeah, but we're gonna want heat while we're up there. And no, we're not. We're gonna bundle up. Bundle up. We brought our ski jackets. <laughs> That's why we brought them to Hawaii. Actually, Isaac brought zero. I brought three, so he's wearing yeah, one of mine. I brought a really nice coat that I just didn't have time to unpack. We are now, you know, we're now over 600 kilowatt hours per mile. If we kept going, it would be a one kilowatt hour. Uh, one kilowatt hour per mile, which means I would only be able to drive 55 miles in this car total. Yeah, so those are, that's another island. Yeah, that's and that's uh, more of Maui, and that's the water. And like, wow, wow, mm. wow, that's it. Wow, that's uh, Lanai. Lanai. Or uh, Kahoolawe. Anyway. Yeah, those are, we could see this and, well, one of these. Hard to tell which way we were looking. Oh. I think it's Kahoolawe. And that's a star. Careful here, lots of cars. Almost officially and at the top. 3,036 3, meters. Whoa. AKA about 10,000 feet. Ooh. Uh, 19 miles. That's enough. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but battery very low. Yeah, it's not. Charge no. Okay, we'll plug into the, the station, the space station. <laughs> aye, aye. That's the planet Venus. That is not a star, yeah. Whoops. Uh, uh, I hate Venus. So it took us 22 kilowatt hours to get up the mountain, which is about, like, it's almost half of what the entire battery can do. Uh, but down, because of regenerative braking, it's gonna, it's gonna give us battery and apparently a lot. So I'm wondering if we're gonna gain the same amount that we lost. Oh, so that it's so. as if we so were driving on a normal road. No, I wonder if it's as if we didn't do anything, but I don't think so. I don't think Probably so, but I think- as if we're driving on a, that's why- As I kept, if we drove on a straight road, I, I think that's possible. This. Turn that back on, please. Look at this though. Okay, that's why I kept this well. so that we can say since last charge, this is gonna go down because we charged last when we were at the bottom. So that's gonna slowly go down. And hopefully it'll get somewhere around 200 and it'll all equal out. And this is going to show us for this exact trip. Wow. And we can yes, still those see are, awesome we can still see the stars, stars even with the light pollution we're making. But can you turn the light back on and tell us quickly how, like, on your way to work, this happens every day, right? Yeah, so every day, uh, 20, uh, 12 miles takes me about, like, 25 miles worth of charge. Uphill. Uh, yeah, all uphill. And it's like 400, 450 uh, kilowatt hours per mile. Uh, on the way back down, I literally get negative like 200. So I gain like three or four miles. Oh, it's already negative yeah. 360. Yeah, so we're at negative 360 right now. Uh, so I'm literally, we have 17 miles. I didn't say that, yeah, we have 17 miles and we'll see how many we have when we get there. And we've literally, well, until Maui, you've never seen it go backwards. And whoa, that light is Kahului. Very cool. And where you have to drive down a very windy road. I say we, but it's actually just the Tesla driving and Isaac sitting behind the wheel. Oh, I'm um, not using down the mountain. Right now. Yeah, it's not safe to use at night on a volcano. Yeah. Nobody's behind us. Any we'll behind us. keep you updated. So anytime that that line is green, that little bit of green right there, it's charging. If I do this, we're using, Ooh. we're using charge, but going downhill usually as long as I'm not accelerating 
it's breaking. So, so we will be actively trying to see how much we can yeah, I'm get. Yeah, we've already we haven't gained a mile yet. Before um, we just yeah, started. I'm actively yeah. I have it. I have the cruise control set to twenty twenty five. And I'm just gonna keep it that way the whole way. And I'm not using heat either, it's just too Turn hard. off your butt warmer. Yeah. What? No, I'm gonna keep it on a little bit. Then mine should be on too. Yay, our butts are warm. Oh, too warm. Just one? Okay. Two. I have two. Two? I only want one. It's really not gonna make a difference. So yeah, we'll see you a little lower down and we're having beautiful views that we can't really get on camera but i did literally capture the milky way on my iphone not with video just with camera and i will post a, screen, a shot of that because it's amazing So that was us going up the hill versus us going down the hill. Yeah, so if if we did the last 30 miles, like we're doing right now, we'd have 11 miles left at the end of our journey. But if you go down to 15 miles, oh, we'd have 21. And if you go to five, we've gone more than five miles going downhill. What? So we are projected to have infinite range. Oh gosh, so <laughs> if we keep driving downhill, we'll never have to charge again. Literally. Our average is negative 269 kilowatt hours per mile. Wow. <laughs> so far we've gained two kilowatt hours and we've gained uh, about six miles of charge. Very cool. The other hilarious thing is this trip. <laughs> Usually this is going down. So it's predicting that now we have 11% charge and it's predicting that by the time we get there, we'll have 30% charge. But again, we are used to really like flat places where we've lived so if you guys live in california or somewhere else where it's really hilly we'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below about your experiences with this and what the record uh gain is that you've experienced because this is new to us so we didn't even know about this but i'm sure a lot of people have it definitely all the time to, definitely not to this degree maybe right. not but still i just wonder how people like uh think about this when they're uh, commuting or when yeah. they're trying to calculate how much you're gonna have, because the Tesla knew. Yeah. It told us that we were gonna gain on the way that we're down. we're gonna have 31% uh, just because of the elevation, that's interesting. And I know this is the fastest way to go down 10,000 feet, but I'm sure there are situations like, what if you're driving a Tesla down like Mount Everest? I don't know. <laughs> you can't like, do that. Yet. We'll see. And also like the 999 steps to heaven. Oh, uh, there was a car driving down those steps. Mm. We have a video about that. It's actually our most popular video with over like 40,000 views. I wonder if you did that with a Tesla, how much you'd gain, but it has a lot of steps. So I think no, the low, would it would on like a Tesla, maybe no. the Cybertruck. No, definitely not. It's it not might. The point. the point is it can coast. And then look at our average. Our average going up and down has gone down from 300 to 366. From 300? Oh, sorry, from 600 to 366. Hmm. I think it'll go down to like 200. We'll have to see. Look at all those turnly swivelly woohoos! Oh, da, 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 da. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Over three hundred watt hours per mile. Negative. Nine, yeah. So every time we go three miles, we gain one kilowatt hour. So we started at, at 17, and now we have 39. We're almost in the green. We here. still have 17 more to go, so we'll yeah. see how much more happens. But it was more steep at the beginning, so at, at the end, I mean, so I think it'll slow down. I predict we'll get about 10 total. 10 more than we started with? 10 kilowatt hours, yeah. Oh, kilowatt hours. But how many miles? Uh... We'll end at like 50. We started at 17. Yeah. We'll see what happens. So our average for going up and back down the mountain is 216. It'd That's be kind of impressive. funny to have a full charge and then drive around Maui a bunch and then go up there and then go down and you could theoretically use more kilowatt hours than the battery actually has without charging. 
and then have a since last charge reading of more than your battery actually has. That's which would crazy. be kind of funny. Because this doesn't count as a charge. It says since last charge, but this doesn't count. All right, so I think it's probably not gonna go up anymore, maybe another mile. We got eight kilowatt hours. I have a feeling it's closer to nine because it's been at eight for a while. Uh, but yeah, so we gained around uh, 38 miles while driving 34. So yeah, we gained 38, but if you add the 34 to that, we literally got, you know, 72 miles for free. So that's pretty cool. You know, if you're driving a gas car up, it takes a lot to go up. And yeah, it takes less going down, but you're still using gas. Uh, we, I literally used negative amounts of energy, almost doubly negative getting down the hill. So that's really cool. And the average, wow, the average for going up the hill and then back down, up the mountain and then back down, 189. You, you can't get 189 even on flat ground. So it more than evened out. It was actually better than driving on flat ground, going up and then down. So that's uh, going up and down Haleakala. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really interesting experience to watch all of the data and everything as you go. Um, and for more interesting things about Teslas, especially on Maui, subscribe to the Travel Bug Bug. Wait, but first, you were worried about going down in the dark? Oh, How it was really it? wasn't bad at all. It was the, the reflectors and everything are, are amazing. It was actually in a weird way easier than going up, going up during the day. So it's just we coasted down. And there's only a few cows in the road and they were on the other side. I think the cows are smarter than the people driving there so they know how to avoid getting hit. Exactly. Because they live there. Well,